Okay, so I wanted to get on here quickly today to sort of give you guys a quick update in regards to the latest betas released by Apple today, but I also wanted to address iOS 18.0.1. Where is it? Where is the release? I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this software update, so I wanted to get on here and give you guys an overall update in regards to betas and official software release expected by Apple here shortly. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is some of the latest betas available today, and then we'll talk about iOS 18.0.1 and when we can expect Apple to release this software to the general public and what are some of the issues that Apple may be addressing with this software update that we've been expecting for a couple of days now. So first, let's jump into Apple's developer portal. And this is quite interesting because Apple today released tvOS 18.1 beta 3 for the Apple TV, watchOS 11.1 beta 3 for the Apple Watch, and Vision OS 2.1 Beta 3 for Apple Vision Pro. But we did not get a beta for iOS 18.1, so no beta today. We also did not get a beta for iPad OS 18.1, as you see here. And we did not get a beta for Mac OS 15.1. So that's quite interesting. We did get three betas, one for TV OS, Watch OS, and Vision OS, but we did not get any betas for iOS, iPad OS and Mac OS, which is quite interesting. Obviously, if you wanna update your Apple Watch, you wanna go into the watch application, general software update, and the latest beta will be available there for you. And by the way, if you do have your HomePods running betas, you can go into the HomePod betas right here in settings for home settings. And obviously you can go under software updates and I already updated to the latest beta. There's also an update for Home OS or HomePod OS, whatever you wanna call it. And let's talk about 18.0.1 because I know most of you guys are probably wondering where is this software update? Apple has now been testing this for several days and we haven't seen this update available for iPhone users just yet. So what's happening? So there is a few things iOS 18.0.1 and iPadOS 18.0.1 may be addressing here in just a couple of days. And I wanna start off with iPads because I feel like this is the bigger story. Believe it or not, iPads with Apple's latest M4 do not have an official iOS 18 update available as of right now. Due to the fact that iOS 18 was breaking some iPads with M4, Apple had to pull the update and now we still do not have an official iOS 18 update for iPad with iPad OS 18 because it was causing so many issues. So we're waiting for iPad OS 18.0.1 to officially have iOS 18 on Apple's latest M4 iPads, believe it or not. So yeah, iPad issues will most likely be addressed with iPad OS 18.0.1. Now on the iPhone side of things, there's several bugs. Now personally, I've encountered issues with overheating several times when using GPS navigation in my car while connecting on my iPhone to charge. I would see some overheating prompts. I've seen this three or four times at this point. I haven't seen any widespread issues or reports on this, but I have encountered this issue on iPhone 16 Pro Max. Let me know in those comments down below if you had any overheating issues whatsoever in which device you're using. Now, there's also various reports of issues with messages. So if someone was to share a watch face with you via message, do not open the thread or do not reply to that message thread because it could cause the messages application on your iPhone to constantly crash. And this is something that hopefully will be addressed with iOS 18.0.1. Now, something else that appeared to be a more of a widespread issue is unresponsiveness touchscreen after updating to iOS 18. Now, I haven't encountered this issue. And initially, I thought this was an issue only on iPhone 16 and 16 Pro. Given the fact that the bezels are so small, some users may hold the iPhone where their fingers are actually touching on the edge. And then when you let go, it could cause some unresponsiveness of the touchscreen. But then later, I found out that more iPhone users were reporting this as well. So iPhone 15 owners, iPhone 14 owners as well. So Apple will most likely address some of these unresponsiveness issues on the touchscreen of iPhones after updating to iOS 18 with 18.0.1. Okay, so with all that being said, when can we expect 18.0.1 to address some of these issues on iPads and iPhones? Well, according to Joe from Mac Rumors, senior editor at Mac Rumors, he says that Apple has steadily ramped up iOS 18.0.1 testing based on the latest log. So it looks like Apple continues to test iOS 18.0.1, and this update could be available any moment now. To be honest, I thought this update would be available by now, but tomorrow on the 2nd or the 3rd, we could see iOS 18.0.1 and iPadOS 18.0.1 officially released to the general public. So make sure to stay tuned here to the channel. I'll continue covering the software for you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.